In this video, we're going to deconstruct the PDF417 symbol and identify all its elements, as well as show you how to decode PDF417 barcodes. PDF417 barcodes are made up of three distinct sections wrapped in a quiet zone, which is the white space before the barcode begins. The format for PDF417s are as follows. There's a start and stop pattern, a left and right indicator, and data code words. Comprised of a set of black and white vertical bars and spaces, the start and stop patterns indicate the beginning and end regions of the barcode. They help the barcode scanner locate the barcode, but don't contain any data. The left and right indicators do not contain any text data, rather they contain information about the barcode such as how many rows there are in the barcode, as well as the error correction level, and so on. The data code word section is where numbers, letters, and other symbols are decoded in a cluster pattern of bars and spaces, each separated by a solid white column. In our example, there are two sections shown. There can be as few as one or as many as 30 data code word clusters. The size of the PDF417 barcode depends on how much data is encoded. PDF417 barcodes are comprised of rows. It must have at least three rows and a maximum of 90 each acting like a small linear barcode. In our example, eight rows are shown. Each row is the same width and has the same number of code words. The sections within PDF417 barcodes are comprised of columns. Each section starts with a solid black and ends with a solid white column, so you can visually see where they begin and end. Each data word section is 17 cells long and are comprised of four bars and four white spaces. This is where the name PDF417 comes from. Each data word is read left to right, top to bottom. PDF417 uses a base 929 encoding where each data word represents a value from 0 to 928. The value is determined by the sequence of black and white cells. Of the 929 available code words, 0 to 900 are used for data and the other 28 are used for special functions that define the barcode. In our example, we see a sequence in one data word consisting of one black, four white, two black, three white, two black, two white, one black, and two white. Together, this creates the value of 1423-2212. Note, the beginning black and the end white cells are included. Once we have all our data word numbers, we can look them up in a PDF code word combo site. We can use Control F to search for each sequence to find the corresponding data value. We can continue the process for the rest of the data words, but for the purposes of this video, we will just do the first three. Next, what we need to do is convert the data word values into data chunks, which will allow us to decode the encoded data. For this, we will apply a mathematical formula. In our formula, F stands for the first character, and S stands for the second character. We can find our first data chunk number by taking our number, using a mod function, and then enter 30. In computing, a mod command is the remainder after the division of one number by another. In our example, one of our data words is 733. So we take 733 mod 30, and that gives us 13. Now we take 733, subtract 13, and then divide by 30. Which is 24. Now we can take these numbers and look them up in a PDF417 text decoder table to decipher the encoded data. Notice there are five columns, number, alpha, lower, mixed, and punctuation. By default, PDF417 starts in the alpha column. So when we apply the formula to our data code words, the first character we get is 5, which according to our table is capital D. Some characters translate to special functions. In our example, our next character is LL. Using the table, we see that LL equals latch to lower. This means that we need to latch everything after the first letter to the next column, which is the lowercase column. When we apply the formula to all our data code words, we are able to decipher the text within our PDF-417. In our case, our PDF-417 barcode says DynamSoft. 
PDF 417 uses Read Solomon error correction, which has added redundancy, ensuring the barcode is still readable even if it has been damaged. The error correction levels range from 0 to 8. The higher the error correction level, the more redundancy the barcode has. However, the more areas used for error correction means that less data can be encoded in the barcode. As per AIM standards, a minimum error correction level of 2 is recommended. To see how Dynamsoft Barcode Reader performs with your specific barcode scenarios, please check out our online demo or start your free 30-day trial. Thanks for watching.